organic mic here. All right, check this out. You having a good day? Yep. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, I want to give you a little garden update here, and uh, what I've been finding is my frog habitat's working pretty good. But there's moringa tree. Look how tall it's getting. See that? There's the blue corn. I gotta watch where I walk because there are frogs everywhere. That stuff's about nine to ten feet tall almost. Tomatoes, our uh, bloom sets are coming back. They had a, a cycle they went through where they just for about a week they stopped uh, putting on blooms. The um, thing I wanted to show you is when I'm walking around there's frogs everywhere of course I run into the house to get my camera and now they're all gone but anyway this is a, a also a video test I'm doing this is one of the lowest qualities that my galaxy here's a frog right here this is about the size of them and there's tons of them yeah, Snip thinks I'm doing something with him. He doesn't even see the frog, which is good. But they're everywhere, and uh, they all look a, about the same. Some of them have more of a silver look to them. You, know, you don't want the frog. So, they're all over the place. So I guess this little habitat I built for them is working pretty good. And they seem like they, uh, like they're heading from the pond area, so it's kind of cool. Here, I'm going to give you a quick perspective. See, they're everywhere. Look, this one's a lot smaller. I don't know if you can see him, but uh, he's a small guy, a little bitty guy. Can you see him moving in the video? I know you can. So anyway, I don't even like walking out here this time of day. Just because uh, there are just, I'd probably say hundreds of them if you were to actually start counting. But look at this corn. This is what I want to show you real quick before I stop the video. Now that's, uh, look how wide it is. Put my hand around it. Pretty big. And then look at the uh, root system at the bottom here. This is that blue corn that I got from a guy from Mexico. It's non-hybrid, non-GMO'd. But look at the roots, how they come out of the ground. So the ground's right there. Look at that. Look at those roots, man. This is awesome. And then they come up in tiers. So, like, here's the first one that goes into the ground. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then there's another seven one trying to pop out. It's almost like they're trying to root into the atmosphere. It's really weird. And some of them, I've been watering so much up here. They, um, they're falling over from the wind, but like over here on this side where there's a lot of water, I should probably cut down on the water. I got all the frogs in there. You see them moving around? But see how these are leaning over? But it seems like they love that pond water because that water's coming out of the pond over there, the overflow, and it's constantly flowing in here. And I'll move the water around so it's not completely wet feet. And I'm fixing to move it out because I've had a good drink now. As a matter of fact, I'll move that right now in this video. So that's where the water's coming from. And I'll come over here and water these other moringa trees right here. Give them a little bit something to drink. Maybe we'll get some rain today. I just want to show you the little frogs. 
so you just got to watch your step around here but those are the uh, Houston toads and I'm trying to you know keep the population up around here seeing how they're somewhat of an endangered species now with the uh, fire ant situation and the um, the fires in Bastrop so there's a little front yard garden update and this is one of the lowest quality I can find on this it's got two higher qualities yet but it's a big jump it's like uh, you know 1080p and up this thing's got some great resolution camera wise but the files get too big and they take so long to upload so this will be my first real outdoor test it's cloudy overcast to see what it looks like I did a test video in the house last night and it did okay in low light but what do you expect for a uh, camera phone I'm already impressed so organicmike.com subscribe if you like